Hi, I'm Dee here at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in the Mars Base One Robotics and Engineering Lab. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to program a robot. Now robots are a little bit different from remote control vehicles. You might have a remote control car or aircraft or some other thing where you're actually operating it as it's flying or driving. Robots are different. With a robot, we're going to give it a program ahead of time and then tell it to run. And at that point, we can't make any changes until it's finished its program. When we're exploring out in space, we use robots a lot. We have several robot rovers and landers on Mars. And NASA has to send them their instructions, wait for the time delay for the robot to get the instructions and process it, and then make any corrections that are needed. You really want to get it right the first time because making corrections and sending the program over and over again is very time consuming and it puts added strain on the robot that you don't necessarily need. Now I'm holding a LEGO EV3 robot. Some of you may have these at home if you're part of LEGO Robotics. And I'm going to use a simple drag and drop block programming system in order to give this robot some instructions. Also, I have a Dash robot, which works on the same principles, it's just a little bit friendlier. So let me show you how both of those work. So this is a typical block programming, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a program block, and I'm going to attach it into the program, and then use it to give a few very basic commands. Uh, this is going to tell me if I want to go left or right, forward or backward. This is how much power I'm giving to it. This is how many times I want the wheels to rotate. I'm going to change that from one to two. And this thing here means that I've got a loop where I'm telling it to do the same thing over and over and over again. So when I hit play, the robot's going to execute these commands. So Dash has a slightly different look, but it's the same general principle. I'm going to have different programming blocks, forward, backward. I'm going to tell it how far I want it to go. Dash measures in centimeters. I'm going to tell it how fast I want it to go, either slow or fast. So it's a little bit less sophisticated than the LEGO program, but the idea is the same. When I hit play, Dash is going to execute all of these plans. Now we're actually pretending that these robots are out on the Mars surface, which means we're inside the base operating them outside the base. We cannot go out there and touch the robots unless of course we put on special protective equipment. So during our simulations we make sure that nobody touches the robots. All I'm going to do is hit start for both of them and if I've programmed them correctly they will cover their assigned area on the grid without crashing into each other. Let's see how I did. Not too bad. Now, if we're going to program actual robots to work on Mars, we're going to want to run a simulation first. Let me show you an example of what a simulation grid looks like. Now you might not have robots at home, but the nice thing about programming is you can do that even if you don't have a robot. You just need a friend to act as your robot. Choose someone who's good at following instructions because you're going to write a program for them to follow. Now I've written a program for you to follow and if you click on the link that's attached to this post, it will give you your instructions. They're very simple, forward, back, left, and right. But if you do it just right, you'll be following the pattern that I established for you. The idea is that you're going to leave tracks that draw a picture. You can look at pictures of Mars from outer space and on Mars where you can see the tracks that the rovers have left as they drive through the dust. You're going to do the same thing. If you do this at home indoors, you can actually use a piece of graph paper and a pencil to draw the picture. 
If you'd rather get outside, you can do something like tape a piece of sidewalk chalk to a broom handle and drag it around with you as you follow the instructions. Either way, if you're doing it the way I intend for you to do it, then you'll be drawing the same picture that I drew when I developed my program. Take a picture of it and post it in the comments below so I can see how well I programmed you. This is Dee, Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, reminding you to have a great day and keep looking up.